These days we don't do a lot of printing to paper, but from time to time it's still useful. So in this video I'll cover the various settings, plus I'll show you how to create a PDF. We can print our worksheets on paper or print to a PDF document. The first thing you'll want to do is set the print area. First you need to select the cells that you want to print and then go to the page layout tab, print area, set print area. If you had more sections of cells that you wanted to print on that one page, you can add to the print area or you can clear the print area and start again. Notice there's a pale grey border around the cells that are going to be printed. Now I can preview the print via the file tab and then print or I can use the keyboard shortcut control P to navigate to this view. Down in the bottom right I can zoom to my page or zoom back out to see the full sheet of paper and I can view the margins as lines on the paper. The section between the top two lines and the bottom two lines are the header and footer. We can adjust our margins here by left clicking and dragging. We can also adjust column widths and the header section and so on. Or we can come down to the custom margins. We can choose from some defaults, normal, wide, narrow, or we can even go in and specify a custom margin for the top, the header, right, footer, bottom and left. We can use these buttons here to center the print horizontally and vertically. I'll click OK and we'll look at that dialog box in a bit more detail in a moment. You can change the number of copies you want to print. You can select the printer that you want to work with. And you'll see there's lots of options here including print to PDF, XPS documents, I've got OneNote installed so I have the option to print to OneNote. The list of items you have here will really depend on the programs that you have installed on your PC. Printer properties will open the dialog box for your particular printer. I have a HP printer so I see this dialog box. It allows me to choose from various settings but I won't go into it because this is unique to my particular printer. If your printer supports printing on both sides, you can choose that here in the print one-sided. Change it to print on both sides, whether you want to flip on the long edge or the short edge. Collated allows you to specify the order in which sheets are printed when you're printing multiple copies. The default is to collate them, but you can set it to uncollated. By default, the orientation will be set to portrait, but you can change it to landscape. The paper size will be set based on your PC settings for your location. In Australia we print on A4. You can see though I can choose letter and even envelope and there are lots of options to choose from. You can even go into more paper sizes if you want something specific. Scaling by default is set to 100%. If your report won't fit on a single page you can choose fit sheet on one page to force it to fit. Or if that turns out too small, you might like to choose fit all columns on one page if you don't have many columns to print but lots of rows. Or fit all rows on one page if you have not many rows and lots of columns. Or you can go in and choose custom scaling and perhaps even adjust it by a certain percentage. The last option here is page setup. This opens the dialog box that we've seen a couple of times so far. This is where we have our scaling, orientation, paper size. On the header and footer tab is where we can specify what we see in the header and footer of our sheets. We can choose from standard headers and footers or we can set up a custom header. It's broken into three sections, left, center and right. You can type in text and then format it or you can click the icons here to say insert a page number, perhaps we'll put the date and on the right we might put the file name. You can also insert images and format them. So have a play around with those options. I'll click OK there. Down the bottom we can specify whether we want different odd and even pages or even a different first page. You can set the headers and footers to scale with the document and align with the page margins and they are set by default. I'll click OK there. You can see we've now got a header with the page number, the date and the file name. When you're ready to print, you simply click the print button. 
I want to go through the page layout tab. You'll notice here that the icons and settings are the same as we had in the print preview. So we have margins, orientation, size, but here we can also set page breaks. So if you want to be specific about how your pages are broken up, you can insert a page break. Just select the row below where you want the page break. Go to the breaks, insert page break. You'll notice I now have a pale gray line indicating that there's a page break there. Let's insert another one. So now we have two page breaks and this will be printed on three separate sheets. It'd be good to print the heading on each sheet. So we can do that in print titles. Here we can choose what row to repeat at the top. We'll repeat row one because that's got our headers. You can also set columns to repeat at the left if your pages are wide. Notice here we can also choose to print grid lines print black and white, draft quality, and row and column headings. Now the row and column headings are the ABC, the column labels, and the row labels. We'll click OK there. One more thing that you can do is insert a background. This is an image file, so you can choose from one you have on your PC or look for one on Bing. If the image isn't big enough to fill the whole sheet, which it's unlikely it will be because there's over a million rows, it will be tiled in the background. Let's control P and we'll go into our print preview. I just want to show you how the page break works. So at the moment we've set it to split the page into three and I've set the header to print on each page. So now if I scroll through the pages, you'll see my header is on each page. I can also type in a number here to jump to a page and press enter. One last thing that's available in the page setup on the sheet tab, is the option to print comments. By default it's set to none, but you can print them at the end of the sheet. Or if you're using the legacy comments, you can print them as displayed on the sheet. And if you have any errors in your cells, you can choose to print them, that's the default. Or have nothing show up, which is blank. Print two hyphens or hash NA. So you can see there are lots of printing settings. If you print your reports, then take some time to familiarize yourself with the options available.